Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Brad Ford, back in here with another video. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because around here, we breed champions. Now, guys, I'm just finna hit y'all with a little update. I finally, finally got done um, upgrading my horses. Um... 50 50 50 this is the best horse in the game it, it gets no faster than this this is the fastest horse that's possible to obtain you know what i'm saying like what haven't i've done we got a grade 10 all the way leveled up and then um bug my riding horse i got him leveled up as far as you know everything except for agility and jump because i actually need to upgrade my agility and um my jump let's see what level i'm at right now so right now i'm tier 14 and tier 15 but all of that will be done in due time now let's get into the video let's get into what y'all here for man and that's how to get these exotic coats so there's a couple steps there's there you know what i'm saying i think it's probably like four steps you can do to get exotic coats the first one is the exotic jeans event. Now, this only happens every now and then, probably every, what, two, three weeks, guys? Every two, three weeks. They have something called, you know, the exotic jeans event. And you have to pay go for these. See, I only could buy grade nine, and grade nine costs about 7,000. Uh, the higher the level you guys are, you know, the more gold it costs. And then, you know, they got other studs also. This is a Pinto Fade. Did you go into the pedigree? Now, anything that's in the pedigree, guys, you can breed it. It's just, a, it's just a, uh, it's just all, it's all about chances. You know what I'm saying? Even when I refresh it, you know, we get a sparse dapples right here, black. Is it sparse dapples? I'm right, sparse dapples, you know, I got a good eye for these things. So yeah, um, Check, check the pedigree. Whatever's in the pedigree, you know what I'm saying? You can get it. Splash white face, uh, blotch dapples. Uh, even these plain horses, guys. Just check the pedigree. Blotch dapples in the pedigree. Bird catcher spots in the pedigree. So you can breed all of these. You know what I'm saying? We can refresh it. Uh, this horse looked plain, but, you know, we check them out. Look at the pedigree. You know what I'm saying? What is this, a Tabiano? Uh, you, like you guys, like, it's all kind of stuff in there. So the second way you guys can get horses is from the market. Now, through the market, you gotta have roses, uh, silver, or gold. That's the only way. Now, the lower level you are, the cheaper. I'm I'm level nine, so my horses cost 13,000 in gold. But for you guys, like let's say you guys are on level six, it might it might be like 2,000 gold for you or whatever the case may be. I don't even know because I can't remember. Um, Refresh it. Uh, This is a belly rub right here or Robicano. Um, let's go see what else. This horse looks like it's plain, but when you go check the pedigree, you know, it's a whole bunch of splash white faces. You know what I'm saying? Um, this horse that costs roses. Pinto. It's, just, it's all kind of stuff in here. You guys could find all kind of gems, man. All kind of gems. Another Robocano. Um, this horse it looks plain, but when we check the pedigree... Oh, Robicano. And another Robicano. So, yeah, guys, this is a, a Robicano. Got, so, the hidden trait most likely will be a Robicano. So, you guys already know. Now, the last way to get horses. I mean, not the last way, but uh, the third way to get these horses is to win them from the live time trial events. Uh, every now and then, they'll give you guys horses to win. Now we're on the last way to get exotic coats, and that's using real money, cash, 
pesos, dinero, yen. Whatever you got, whatever your currency is, you know what I'm saying? Whatever your currency is, it costs money, real money. You know what I'm saying? And that is how you guys get exotic coats. That's going to be all, guys. It's your boy, Breath of War. I'm out.